Hello, welcome back to my channel where today I'll be doing drag makeup for the first time in six months. There isn't really a reason why I haven't done drag in a really long time, it just hasn't been on my mind. I think I haven't been consuming as much drag content as I once was, but today I really want to get back into it. I'm going to start out with my primer and I'm just going to put all over my face. I use the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. I'm going to make sure that this is a really nice thick layer of primer just because I'm going to put a lot more layers of makeup on my face than I normally do. Normally I just kind of do my eyes and my lips and that's it. But today we're going to go all over the face but I want to make sure it's really fully prepped. Next up is contour. For contour I'm just going to use eyeshadow because I don't own a contour palette. I really do need to get one especially as this one is running out as well. Like this is the colour that I use. You can tell it's the colour I use. I really do need to get a new one because this isn't going to last me much longer. I think today I want to do a slightly deeper contour because with drag I always tend to do quite a light contour and I want to try a slightly deeper one. So I'm going to kind of mix these two together to see what happens. I haven't done drag in so long, I'm worried it's going to come out terrible. I follow a lot of people on TikTok who always seem to be able to do their makeup perfectly, or if they can't do it perfectly, they always seem to be able to perfectly fix it, and I'm just not one of those people. If I make a mistake, it's either going to ruin my whole makeup and I'm going to take it all off, or I'm going to try and fix it, and me trying to fix it is going to ruin my makeup even more than I did before. I just don't have the necessary skills to fix makeup once it's been put on my face. I feel like that is just a really big skill that people don't don't seem to think it's as oppressive as it is. If you can fix your makeup, that is an amazing skill. That is more of a skill than doing makeup in my opinion, because putting the makeup on is the easy part, making it look really good and perfect, that is the hard part. So this is the contour on and it always looked a little bit weird when it's at this stage, but trust me, it will hopefully look better in a bit because I'm now gonna carve everything out with white concealer. I find the best thing to do is to put the white concealer on the back of your hand and then use a little tiny brush for it. And I will be using both these brushes. This brush is kind of just more of a sides brush because it's flat and this is more of a fluffy brush just to kind of blend it out in some areas. So I'm gonna be going backwards and forwards between these two mainly. And then for my nose, I'm gonna use a really tiny brush. I'm gonna use this tiny little paintbrush here. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Depends how close I hold it, I guess. But for my nose, I'm going to be using this because I like a very sharp nose contour for drag. I just think it looks so much better with the style of eyeliner that I do. My skin hasn't been feeling all that great recently, so I hope putting concealer on doesn't piss it off. If I could stand it, I would wear much more makeup on an everyday basis, but I just can't have foundation or concealer on my skin every day because it makes me want to scratch my skin off. I don't know if that's a universal thought. Probably not because so many people wear makeup all the time but whenever I have too much makeup on my face I just want to scratch at it it just irritates me so much I do not like the feeling of it touching my skin it's such a weird feeling I don't really know how to describe it so I hope me saying that kind of gets my point across but because of that habit that I have if I have spots underneath my makeup I just really irritate them and they just get worse and worse I'm very lucky in the fact that I don't get a lot of spots on my face I only really get them across my forehead on my chin and around my nose I don't really have the issue of having loads of acne. I never really have. And I'm very much grateful for that. I see a lot of people really struggling with acne and it hurts to have acne. I cannot imagine having it even more on my face. But with my acne in particular recently, I just haven't been doing my skincare very well. I get home really late at night because I work in a theater. And at that point, I just cannot be bothered to do anything with my skin. If I'm feeling a little bit motivated, I will put toner on my face because I don't need to look at a mirror. But at that point in night, I do not want to be looking at myself in the mirror at all. I do not want to be seeing myself, to be honest. But anyways, what I was saying was, if I could wear lots of makeup, I would so definitely get white foundation and do some really cool clown core makeup looks with it. But I know I just wouldn't be able to wear it outside, which would be so disappointing. I just really fucking love it when people do clown makeup where they could just do a white circle around their facial features so you can still see their natural skin tone, but the colors really pop and they look so cartoony. I would absolutely love to be able to do that. Maybe I'll do it for a video at some point because then at least someone will see my makeup. Whereas if I was doing it on an everyday basis, no one would see it because I wouldn't be able to go outside like that. I'd probably last an hour before I have to scrub it all off and that would be really annoying to do in public. So this is the contour all done. I am quite happy with it. I feel like my nose looks a little bit wonky at the top. I don't know whether that was where I put the contour or it's where I put the white highlight but it's a little bit skew if. But I have a fringe on the wig I want to wear, so hopefully it will hide that bit of my makeup. And I did the cheeks higher than I normally would. Normally I'd put them down here. I decided to put them up here today. I just wanted to see if it will make my face look any different. I think it's just made me look older. Not that that's a bad thing or a good thing, it's just the observation that I've had. I quite like it. I think it suits my face shape a little bit more, mainly because I have quite a big chin. So in drag, I feel like making it look like this makes it look pointier. 
which is interesting to me. I do not really know the science of contouring. I should really look into it though because it's so fascinating that doing this can change someone's face shape so drastically. Like I usually have quite a square jaw which I really like but right now it's making my face look kind of sharp. I don't look at all like myself but obviously that's the point of this makeup so we're going to move on to the next step which is mapping out my eyeliner. I'm going to use a black eyeliner for this and just kind of map it out on both sides, try and make it match as much as possible and give myself a good base for putting on the eyeshadow. This is the best drag tip I think I've ever picked up. I first saw Trixie Mattel do it but since getting TikTok I see a lot of people do it so it's obviously a very popular technique and it is popular for a reason. If you map out your eyeliner you don't waste your time doing a very pretty eyeshadow that's just going to get covered up after the fact because I know for a fact that if I didn't map out my eyeliner first I would do lots of pretty eyeshadow and then it would only come up to here and you wouldn't even be able to see it so definitely map out your eyeliner beforehand because usually drag eyeliner is pretty huge and you're not really used to seeing it on your face so it's good to get an idea before you start talking of eyeshadow that is what we're going to go on to now i want to do a green look today because i want to wear my green wig just because it's my favorite drag wig it's a wig that i use for quite a few cosplays as well i just love the wig so much and because my drag character is definitely more pastel goth we're gonna go in with some pastel green makeup today from this elva 2 palette from odin's eye particularly these two shades here i'm gonna use the glitter on my inner corner and I'm going to use this green just to blend out the edges. And to apply it, I'm going to use this little tiny fluffy brush just so I don't go too high. My normal makeup usually comes up to like here, but I want to keep it a little bit lower today just because I'm going to be wearing a fringe so I don't really need to do anything with my forehead. Something that has just occurred to me is that I still do not have a drag name. Whenever I do drag, it is definitely the same character every time. It's like an elf brat doll with a very pastel goth aesthetic to it. Not that I am basing it on pastel goth, it just always seems to look pastel goth in the end because I use a lot of pastel eyeshadow and then I do a lot of black eyeliner. I mainly do this because I want it to look completely different from my everyday makeup, which is very neon and brightly coloured. So I really like how different the two characters look, so it's kind of just the opposite of me. My drag character is everything that I am not. But I've just never thought of a name that's stuck in my head. I've gone through a few, I've never really said them online because I wasn't really sure about any of them. And obviously now I still don't have a drag character name because I just can't think of one that really suits it and also because I follow a lot of drag performers they all have such good drag names and I feel like anything I can think of will never live up to that so I feel like my name is always going to be a little bit disappointing not that I'm ever going to perform in drag that sounds absolutely terrifying I would not be able to do that that takes so much talent I wouldn't be able to get on the stage at all it just wouldn't be something that I could do so in a way it also feels pointless thinking of a drag name because I'm never going to use it and I feel like someone else should use a good drag name rather than me stealing one because that's what it would feel feel like if I had a good drag name it would feel like I was stealing one so I just don't have a good drag name if you have any drag name suggestions please put them down below in the comments just anything that sounds cute and elfy would be absolutely perfect now that the eyeshadow is on and I really like it I brought the glitter down onto my cheeks I don't know if it's going to capture on camera but I did it all the way down here to kind of look a little bit like glossy tears and I think it looks really cute with this look I'm now going to go in and do my lip I usually do my eyeliner next but I feel like I want to do my lip first and do my eyeliner off camera because my eyeliner really stresses me out I use eyeshadow for my eyeliner and I always worry about it going everywhere so I'm going to do my lips first just because they're a little bit easier and for my lips I'm going to use the eyeliner I used before for my eyes and then I'm going to use a black liquid lipstick just to fill it all in and I might use a little bit of the eyeshadow just on the upper cupid's bow just to kind of balance things out and make them look like one cohesive look. I only just remembered that I had to get rid of my elf ears because I just couldn't clean the dust off of them. They're kind of a tacky material which means that when I was keeping them in the bottom of my makeup box they are covered in dust and makeup that just won't come off them. So I ended up throwing them away and now I wish I hadn't thrown them away because they would look perfect with this look. I forget that I used to use them for drag quite a lot and I feel like they would look really good with this. Just because I always draw an elf as inspiration for my drag, so it's kind of disappointing that I can't be an actual elf today. I will have to get more. They're really cheap. I really feel bad about throwing them away. I had them for a few years, but I do not like throwing things away that are plastic, because obviously they just go straight to landfill and destroy our planet more. So I'm just a little bit disappointed in myself for doing that, especially as now I want to use them, but they're already gone. Now that the lips are all done, I feel like the shape of the lips really goes with this contour, because both are really harsh and pointy. Usually I do the lip quite differently. I don't do it as big in the middle here and I don't do a V Cupid's bow, usually because I don't really like the look of it on me. But I feel like for this look, it goes quite well, even if it's quite uneven. 
I tried my best, I just couldn't quite get this side to look exactly like this side, but oh well, we're gonna try and not be a perfectionist today. I think the only thing now to do is the eyeliner. So I think I'm gonna fill in the eyeliner off camera, put on my wig, put on my outfit, and come back for the final result. And this is the makeup all finished. I feel like that eyeliner is too heavy. I feel like you can't really see my eyes, and you also can't really see the double points because of where the syringe is. I don't know why I did them so close up here. Normally I think they come here and that's the issue, this one should be further down and this one should be more of a little flick. So it looks a little bit heavy on my eyes, but I don't hate it. I think it's just not the best drag look I've ever done. So this wig is annoying me. These ponytails are not in the same place. But I don't think it's the worst drag look for not having done drag in six months. It's not like I haven't been doing makeup in six months or I haven't lost my makeup skills. I feel like I've just lost the eye for drag that I used to have. So I really need to get back into it. I need to look at more drag inspiration watch more drag performances, go and see more drag performances. So I will definitely be trying to get back into it a little bit more. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give a like down below, comment what else you'd like me to do, and subscribe as I post a new video every single Thursday, and I'd love to see you again. But until then, bye!